In this video, we're going to be looking at AI text prompt to samples, mainly for music producers. So let's delve right in. Hey everyone, this is Barry from Music Tech Info. Hope you're doing well. So something that I haven't featured on this channel before is basically AI text to samples. Normally we feature songs or vocals or even images, but now it seems apparent that you can now create samples based on text models, which I think is incredible. So you can go to twoshot.ai to start with, and this is the website that basically features existing samples, packs, and allows you to generate your own. Now it allows you so many credits for free, and then you have to pay a monthly plan uh, so we can investigate. Before I do, um, this today's sponsor is by songshub.xyz. So songshub is an app on the App Store and the Google Play Store and basically it's TikTok for music. It's a fantastic new app that allows musicians to earn additional revenue streams, including tips, and they actually get rewarded every time they post a video on the platform as well. So check it out. You can go to songshub.xyz to find the links below or use the app stores that are relevant. Okay, so twoshot.ai, let's have a look then. So we've got samples at the top. So if I click on that, we are taken to some samples that have been picked by the curation team. And there's a lot to choose from, particularly if you're a music producer, this is gonna be quite interesting for you. And it's where you can basically check out the samples, you can heart them to go into your favorites. You can download them from the right as well, just here. So it allows you to do that. And there's all kinds of different genres, such as hip hop and so many on here, as you can imagine, old school, chop, crash, house, piano, vocals as well. Some are categorized by royalty free, some are priced by the basic tier. So if I click on royalty free, these are the ones that you can use in your music productions without having to actually give any credits to the platform. There is also a basic tier model as well. So if I just click on that and wait for it to load, you can actually uh, check if it's royalty free within that as well. You can specify it by tempo, by duration, and even by key. You can sort the whole list by latest, popular, recently used, oldest, or even random. So there's a lot of samples to check out on here. You can search for samples within that box as well. You can also look at packs. So if I have a look at the sample packs, sometimes that helps because they're all grouped together. So you've got trap synths here. So if I click on trap synths, then you'll actually see that that'll open up just that pack for you to check all of those out within here. So let's just try one. That's 27 seconds in A minor, 142 beats per minute. So it's very well organized website. If we have a look at artists, these are the featured artists that's currently on the platform. There's quite a few on here, so that's, you can check their stuff out. But this is where you've got the generate, and this is where you've got the text prompt. So you click on generate at the top or create on the top right. It says generate audio, enhance your workflow efficiently by generating and manipulating AI cre created samples directly within your door using the plugin. So they have a plugin as well that you can use, which is really cool. And it gives you some examples down the bottom, uh, ones that have been generated by them, ones that have been generated by community. They even give you some prompt ideas to check out as well, just to give you some ideas, because to be creative with text prompts isn't always easy, particularly if you are a musician, I find anyway. Uh, you can download the plugin as well, which then you can put it straight into your door. So let me have a look at my profile, shall we? And on here, I can look at generated. So these are the ones that I've actually generated. So you put in the text prompt and then you actually get three examples or samples that you can then check out. From there, if you like them, you can download them, you can add them to your library or you can view original. So upbeat pop song, let's have a listen to this one. So these are 10 seconds. Okay, not the highest quality, but not bad. A lot of guitar focus there. Very similar to the first style. It's like a flute in there now. You know, not too bad, not too bad. I mean, don't forget that is set to the duration of 10 seconds, which is why they sound more like songs rather than samples. Let's have a look at Synthwave Catchy Beat now. Oh, 
Not keen. This is quite similar to the Refusion model, which is actually creating sounds and songs from scratch. So that's quite a big deal. Okay, that one is amazing for Synthwave. I am very impressed with that particular one. Let me just have a look at View Original because I'm very keen to see what that actually shows. Okay, yeah, you can add it to the library, you can see it. Okay, so it gives an audio ID, which is interesting. That fill in there is amazing. Those, those, honestly, I'm so impressed with that. I think what would be really cool was if you could then manipulate this into a longer song. You can add it to the library and you can name it your sample. So Synthwave, help if I could spell today, Synthwave. And then you can check out similar samples that you've done that on. So you do have edit on here. So we've got tier pro, you can add tags to it. You can heart it if you really like it. Edit, reimagine. So you can, and you can extract the stems as well. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh, that is huge. Okay, now I'm really in interested in this two shot AI, AI generation tool, because that is really cool. See, that was my downside with this app is that, oh, you can't extract the drum beat and the stems. With this, you can. So that is amazing. It'll take a couple of minutes to do that. But that is really cool. Okay. Very impressed with that one. Now, let's have a look at the generate. Now, I think it's going to throw up the fact that I need to pay for credit. So, but I'll just give you an idea on how it works. So you click on generate. Um, I don't know. Um, Hi-Fi. Um, general pop song you give the duration so let's oh, apologies I think I've clicked a shortcut there we go let's just do two seconds one sample generate and then it'll actually generate the audio for you if I move this screen up just a little bit you'll you'll see what you've got here so you've got completed creating sampled done split sample synthwave done generating audio for this new generation text model so that's good okay excellent you've got history on here so you can see all of the things that you've done previously see now what it's done it's taken that synthwave sample that i created with with ai and you've got stems on here as well so if i click on those three stems no okay so let me go back a bit so instead of clicking on those three stems, maybe you just click the download tool. Okay, you, you can work it out. But it does say Pro on here as well. Okay, now that audio generation is completed at the bottom, so I'm just gonna view that. This is a hi-fi general pop song. Okay, so it gives you an idea. So it's not about creating kind of single sounds. They're more like songs but to be fair i've said beat i've said songs so, so let's give it another go so i'll click on create generate sample i'm just gonna say string strings chords of strings solo strings okay let's give that a go let's do th four seconds just two examples generate Okay, so it's generating the audio on that. So again, I'll just move this screen up for you. Moved it down a bit. Just need you to see it. There we go. I was in the way. <laughs> By the way, a sub to the channel will be really appreciated. A lot of you don't subscribe, so please consider subscribing. I feature all things AI, all things Web3, mainly for music, uh, but I do feature image generation tools and many other things as well. And a like to this video would be really appreciated. So yeah, let me know if, how you get on in the comments if you decide to have a go at this. Be interesting to use it within the door um, to see what kind of results you get. I think that would be really cool. And if I do go back to samples and I go, you, yeah, there you go. So you've got loops and you've got one shots. So if I have a look at the one shots on here, let's just have a look at kick. There you go. So it can produce it quite easily very impressed with this stuff oh it's giving a preview as you scroll down 
that's really cool. Depending on how good your scroll button is on your mouse, mine isn't the best. Okay, so he's done that audio generation, so I'll click on View, Chords of Solo Strings. There you go. Oh, okay, he's done it in a bit of a song again. That's better because then you could splice that up to how you want. So there you go. It's now possible to create samples with AI text prompts, which I think is amazing. So I hope you like this video and I'll speak to you on the next one. Take care. Bye.